Merry Christmas and I hope you're having a happy holidays with your family, whatever you choose, as long as you're having a good time with your family and everyone spend time with your family and friends. That's what the main thing is about. Uh, I'm up at my mom's and we're just about to enjoy our Christmas. So let's, t I wanna talk about some things. Um, what I've been doing here in Australia, what I'm gonna do in 2023 about my channel, what I plan to do with my channel and the gear and then some little bit of tips if you were planning on starting a YouTube channel, what I've learned the last four or five months. So watch this video and I'll cover all of those in this video. Hope you enjoy. Hello, how is everyone? Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm Keith, if you didn't know. Uh, I've been doing YouTube now for the last, since about August, September and October, I was traveling around uh, Vietnam and Japan. I've been home in Australia since November and I've been putting some videos about Australia out just a little bit every week or so. Um, I just want to wish everyone that subscribed to my channel and people that watch my videos uh, a Merry Christmas or a Happy Holidays, whatever you choose. Um, the main thing is to make sure you're enjoying your time with your family. Um, that's the main reason I started the channel and walked away from teaching in Korea. I love my time in Korea, but uh, I wanted to spend more time with my family. The exciting thing is I've just become an uncle for the first time. I got a little baby niece, um, so that's really exciting. So I do want to spend time and visit her. She is overseas at the moment, so we'll have to try to check up, uh, catch up with her later in the year. Uh, so one of the reasons for doing YouTube and starting to find my own path that's a bit more flexible is so I can spend more time with family but not necessarily live in Australia. I'll talk about that now. Living, coming back to Australia, oh my God, it's so expensive. Um, when you're buying uh, popcorn that's $17 at the movie, um, beer, transport. So I've been bunkering down a little bit. I've made a few YouTube videos because I got to borrow my grandma's car and just drive around to do some filming, but I don't want to spend my money here in Australia. I want to spend it overseas. So I do have my plans for 2023, but at the moment I'm just enjoying my time in Australia. Just time with family, doing swimming, exercising, things that aren't expensive and save my money for my travels. Where will I be going? I will be going to, starting off in Dubai. I'm gonna to go to Dubai for a few days. And then I will be going to India. India, I will be doing the Golden Triangle in India. Uh, if you don't know, the Golden Triangle is New Delhi, Agra, and Jaipur. I will be actually going with a friend. So one of the reasons I'm going to India is I found a friend to travel with me for uh, just a couple of weeks. So we're going to do that together. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then I'm going to stay longer. They will go home and I'm going to stay longer in India and use the full 30 days in India and the Australian cricket team's going to come out to India. So I'll go watch a day of uh, the test matches. Um, after that, plans are up in the air. I'd love to go to Sri Lanka, maybe Nepal, uh, maybe a month in it, Philippines and Thailand, maybe both. Um, they are on the agenda, but nothing's set. Just the Dubai and India is set. Um, everything else I'm still thinking about. Um, I, there may be an opportunity to see my niece in about April. So I want to be able to come back and see, see her if she's here. So I'm gonna start off with two, three months of traveling and just do it the same way in my own pace. Um, really enjoy the city. So if I do uh, Thailand, maybe, you know, two weeks in Bangkok and two weeks on an island, Koh Samui or something like this and just really immerse myself, filming, enjoy the places. And same with uh, if I go to Philippines, Manila and maybe one island and just enjoy that island and then come back to Australia, spend some time with family and then go away again and keep going until my money runs out, yeah. Uh, so that's what my travel plans are. It's, 
I'm excited for it. I'm excited to do, uh, being home in Australia, I'm excited to go out and enjoy the world again. I love to go back to Vietnam. I see the southern part of Vietnam. Um, and I'll tell you what my bucket list is after this. Yeah, with the equipment and maybe some advice if you wanted to start a YouTube channel, what I've learned the last three years is just start with your phone. I wish I had started with my phone and not bought all the gear. So as I'm traveling now, um, I made the rule in August when I started that I'm not buying any more gear. Um, just use what I've got just because I've already spent a lot of money on it. And it's just a hobby for now because I'm not making any money from YouTube. I just want to enjoy it. So I've got my Cone A6100 Sony. I've got the GoPro and the phone. So if you are staying on YouTube, start with your phone because then you start learning what you need. What I've learned is I, my stabilization ain't great when I'm holding the Sony. I've uh, decided to not spend any money, so I'd love to get a gimbal, um, but I'm not, don't want to spend the money. So I'm going to do one more trip with all the gear that I got and then reassess what I would need, whether to hand in the Sony A6100 and try to get a bit of cash for it and upgrade, or not even upgrade, just something with a bit more stabilization to help me, or get the gimbal and, and use the gimbal with the Sony and the GoPro and the um, camera, our uh, phone. So that's an option too. Um, so yeah, so don't send me any money at the moment because I don't want to accept money because my videos aren't quite good enough. When I give my videos maybe a four out of 10 or um, when I get about seven out of 10, maybe when I get to be close to a thousand subscribers, it'll be time to start looking at all those options. But right now I just want to keep it as a hobby and um, keep improving and hopefully keep growing the channel. I want to grow the channel, don't get me wrong, but I don't want, uh, I want my videos to be great <laughs> and then I can accept money and stuff like that and your support. But I do want to thank everyone for their support. Having um, a bit over 200 subscribers is awesome and I really want to thank everyone, especially the Vietnamese because I don't know if you know, when I started to uh, really release videos in August and then September, I was stuck on 21 subscribers for a whole month. One month, no new subscribers. And I'm like, trying to stay positive, talking to my mates on the podcast. Stay positive, stay positive. But once I got into Vietnam, started releasing videos in Vietnam, the Vietnamese started subscribing to my channel, which I'm very thankful for, because that gave me some confidence. And they were loving my videos, which I thank you, because I do know there's some flaws in my videos. But now I'm up to 220 and I keep growing. I'm not releasing as enough videos to get a good spike right now, but I think once I get to Dubai and India, I'll start smashing up two, three videos a week and I can start building this channel even more. All right, so just to let you know what my bucket list is. Um, I achieved my bucket list a couple of years ago, but I created a new bucket list. Top four things I wanna do. Number one, bit weird but I just want to see Mount Everest. I don't want to climb Mount Everest, I just want to see Mount Everest. It doesn't have to be for this year but maybe in the next couple of years I'm going to try to achieve these um, on the bucket list. Number two is I want to walk the Kokoda Trail in Papua New Guinea. The Kokoda Trail is about a three four day hike in the jungle where our um, soldiers had to walk during World War II and it's come a bit of a pilgrimage for Australians to do the Kokoda Trail. Three, I want to go to Turkey and see Cappadocia and uh, the hot air balloons. I'd like to see that. Hopefully with someone, that would be cool. And four, I'd like to go to Greece and check out the islands and all that. They're the top four things for me to do in, on my bucket list at the moment. Um, just enjoy doing that. And five, I guess, is to find a new place to live. So we're still searching for that place. Could even be in the Asia, South America, whichever the one's got the visa that suits me and uh, not too expensive. <laughs> okay, now I'll tell you what I've been doing while I've been at home. Um, I've been trying to learn a little bit more about my equipment. So, so if you saw like the Japan videos, um, very short clips at night time because I have to use the uh, Sony at night to get those shots. And um, you also see with my, the videos I took the other night of some house with lights around the area, uh, it can get very shaky with it. So 
I love using it. I love taking photos with it. I try to use it a lot with the um, Swansea video, uh, but I go not shake as much. And obviously people say, oh, just get a gimbal, but I could spend $300 getting a gimbal or after this next trip, maybe I decide this camera's not the right camera for me, hand it in, try to get some cash for it, and then get a camera that does have a bit more stabilization and I don't have to carry a gimbal around traveling with me. That's the choice. Uh, I do have a phone. The phone's not, I can use the phone to take photos and maybe quick things on Instagram and stuff like that, but uh, very little I'll put on the um, YouTube. And then I got the GoPro. I love the GoPro. I'm really learning a little bit more about the GoPro, especially settings where I'm sure a lot of you've seen in some of my f uh, filming around when this light's dropping um, or indoors, it shakes. Um, so I've started doing some YouTube college and learning how to try to stop that if I can. I should know not to use that and use the camera, but sometimes it's just easy to use the GoPro and get some quick footage, but there's no point doing it if the quality is that bad, which it was when it's shaking and I'm not quite sure why. I'm not an expert on camera, so that's what I'm trying to learn at the moment. So I've uh, had a play with it and if you saw my um, Swansea video going into the cave, the new settings I've got worked pretty good uh, going into that cave. So I'm still learning which settings to use at night time, uh, not at night time, at indoors and going in the dusk. So thank you for watching my videos, for everyone that was watching my videos and I will see you in 2023 with a lot more adventures and I encourage you to start your own adventures too. Don't just watch me. <laughs>